Oh, whoops, I forgot to update all the settings first. Alright. Okay. I can't believe I had live chat replay disconnected this whole time. You lose a lot of what makes it fun that way. Okay, good. That means everybody can hear the music. Refresh this. The return of everybody's favorite, the loud squeaky chair. Okay, now onward to the live control room. Hey everybody, salutations, Trey Blosky Na oh hey everybody, salutations, Trey Blosky Nation. We're here playing Crash Bandicoot 2 Entranced. That name is kinda confusing. Just getting something to drink. This is the sequel to the Game Boy game. The Huge Adventure. Uh-oh. YouTube's giving us that not receiving enough video when there shouldn't be anything affecting the bandwidth. Oh, it went away. Good. Deep in the heart of hyperspace. That incompetent Neocortex! He cannot do anything right! His last scheme to shrink the Earth failed miserably! You have been a great asset to the cause of evil over the year's entropy! Thank you, my lord. That is why I trust you with the task of aiding me in universal domination! Great Uka Uka, I am honored. And I have the perfect scheme. Oh no! I hope I didn't skip that opening cutscene. But follow the Wumpa Fruit. Collect 100 Wumpa Fruit to earn an extra life. Wow. This one just acts like you've never played a Crash game. Yep, I know. I know all of this. Get away. No! It makes you run through them, even if you're a Crash Bandicoot veteran like myself. I like this layout, though.
Oh, we already have double jump. Awesome. I guess we're on Insanity Island. Avoid the timer for the TNT. Allow me to harness my powers of time and space to peer into the future. Of course, since those <laughs> wretched bandicoots keep thwarting us, the solution is to get them on our side. And I know just the fellow for the job. A new recruit? Indeed. Meet my secret weapon. I am Entrance, Master of Hypnotism. He's an egg. Meanwhile... Ugh. Don't buffer, I know, I know. Hmm. Well, we're waiting. I guess time to share. One second, I'm just sharing that we're live. This is for... So bear with us, I'm just sharing out some links since we got time. I know that breaks up the pacing, but... I always forget to do something. second I said one second already probably been five seconds okay oh wait there we go Okay, it doesn't look like anybody's tuned in yet. Sorry if you're if you're watching this archived. Capri, TJ, said, Hi, Trey. How's it going? Oh, it's it's going good, TJ. I'm just getting this 
shared everywhere. Okay. That crash, help! Crash, wake up! Coco and Crunch have been take have been abducted. Find me a power crystal so I can look into what's going on. Hurry! Just playing Crash Bandicoot Entranced. It's the sequel to the Game Boy game. I refuse these hints. I already know how to play. I do find it interesting that Crunch is here. He definitely feels like one of those characters they added that they didn't really know what to do with afterwards. Like, oh, he's just another Cortex minion, and now he's a good guy. We don't know what to do with this. Yes, don't touch the nitros. Okay, and we get a silver gem if we smash all the crates. Oh no, watch out, Crash. I've got you, Crash. Something is holding on to Crash. We need more power. This vortex must be the work of Entropy. Entropy. I finally captured that infernal bandicoot. I finally got all you obnoxious bandicoots. Would you do the honors, Entrance? With pleasure. Somewhere else in hyperspace. That took almost all the power I had, Crash. Good job getting the power crystal before you were pulled into the vortex. But I'll need a lot more crystals if we are, put, if we are to put an end to Entrophy's plans. That floating island up ahead will allow us to go to different worlds and find crystals. Hopefully we can find Coco and Crunch and stop Entropy. Yeah. Continue and save. Wow, the previous people didn't get that far. wonder if that means this one's harder than the last one. Ooh, this is different. And Crunch is our boss. Oh, whoops. I didn't didn't mean to do this one again, but... I think I remember Crunch does show up in... Twin Sanity? And then we never see him again. But that goes back to the stuff I actually know about the development of Twin Sanity. Oh. But that goes back to the stuff I know about Twin Sanity, which is apparently that game ended up being super rushed and was sent out unfinished. It's like every villain you ran into during the, uh, you know, Cortex getting all the bad guys together and then you fight the robot bandicoot. Like, that was all supposed to actually lead into something. I'm also really excited that our Etsy store is live with our current two... Little tiny schmoobies and the full-sized flumbit hand puppets. We're working on our glovies, or I think they call them glovos or gluvos. They're little glove puppets. They have sassy eyes. And uh, as I mentioned yesterday, I basically had a breakdown because a lot of bad things were happening. 
and we were worried my mom had broken her arms, but thankfully, when she fell, all that happened was she had bruising. She is perfectly fine. Like, she's been out and about all day doing stuff. I mean, that's... Sometimes that's just, like... Sometimes it's... You just gotta be really happy when... You just get lucky and things work out. Oh, wow. Capri, TJ, said. Awesome. Can't wait to get one. All right. And trust me, I was fighting with myself on the on the actual prices, but they are st the flumbits are still cheaper than similar qualities on Etsy. And the Gluvels Gluvos, well, are going to be kind of the middleman. Well, I don't think we would ever get into triple digit pricing unless Unless I started making, like, those big, like, sack puppets. You know, the kind of cookie monster, they have the big arms and the head kind of thing. And, uh, we're in... The, uh, I forget what they... We are in somewhere that was heavily inspired by Agrabah from Aladdin. And the main bad guy is a robot egg with hypnosis powers. I just hope they don't have the people constantly throwing explosive fire bottles outside the windows. Because I don't think we get the bazooka in this game. It does feel tighter compared to uh, Huge Adventure. Like, they've had time to really figure out what to do to make a Crash Bandicoot 2D platformer. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Also got to talk to another friend... A friend of mine named Chimichanga Productions. He's one of my old uh, one of my old friends from when I did Lego animations. Makes me wish there was a way I could get other people to kind of be on these streams, like maybe do like a Discord thing. The only thing I'm worried about is I don't know if I still need to make sure only my voice was running through Video Tube Mini. Because otherwise, it would everybody talking, which would be like, ah, ba 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 Oh, this looks cool. Ah! He even plays the Jaws music when he gets close to you. That's a nice little detail. Whoa! Help me. Oh no. I'm being attacked. I'm being eaten by sharks. Well, I'm going to be eaten by sharks.
Whoa! That is scary. Oh, does that mean this probably means I'm gonna have to try to play that world again. World again. Uh oh. Problem is, I don't know if anything's working. Okay, good. It is still streaming. It just doesn't look like it. And given the week I've had, I'm not surprised to have some problems. Pharaoh's Funhouse. Globe Trotten. Crash. These Mayan ruins can only be traversed by using one of your favorite toys. The out the atmosphere. Look out for nitro traps and ledges. Oh, it's the ball. Okay, here we go. We're having a ball. <laughs> oh, it's not even the same thing from <clears throat> Wrath of Cortex either. It's literally just a 3D model of Crash T posing inside a ball. Whoa, wow. Whoa, whoa. Ah. That is the definition of fear. Rolling around. Roll too fast. Whoa. Ah. Once I get, once I get my money situation fixed, I'm gonna see if they have a copy of Grunty's Revenge. Like, don't ask me how, but I somehow have at least two, maybe three copies of Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie, Banjo Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts. Though I still haven't found Banjo Kazooie Saves Christmas. Or. Whoa! Or Banjo Kazooie and the Prisoner of Azkaban. When I asked about Banjo-Kazooie Revenge of the Sith, they looked at me like I had corn coming out of my ears. Well, what? No, 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 no. Whew. Just roll with it. Whoa. 
See, that was our problem. You didn't... Oh! You didn't roll with it, Crash. These are definitely better than the other levels. Or the the ball levels like these actually in Wrath of Cortex. Whoa. One hundred and twelve? How long is this level? Oh, I know. I bet it's... Including all these nitro crates. Which I assume there's going to be a green exclamation point box so we can blow them all up. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. I am not taking my finger off the A button. Gently. Slow and... Easy. Ah. Means I lost all the crates I broke. Oh my god. Wow. That... That's what adrenaline feels like. Sometimes. Careful. Precision. What the? Ah. Okay, we got stuck. Be careful, because there is... Okay, a checkpoint box. I like how they try to mimic the letters flying up and spelling out checkpoint. Like, ch 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 check po -po -po point One Crash Bandicoot crystal. Aha! Okay. Okay, now let's see what we missed. Careful, careful. Careful. Whoa, okay.
Uh. We missed a box. Whoa. Oh, and it was right there. Well, I hope that was it. Oh, jeez. This is how you... That's how you pick up... That's how you end up picking a whole bouquet of whoopsie doodles. Whoopsie doodles. Okay, we'll come back for the box gem on our own time. Pharaoh's Funhouse. We're in Egypt. That's a stink. Those are those alligators. I hate those alligators. The mummies. Ah, lost my alligator. I lost my mask. Okay. It's weird that the hieroglyphics in the walls are still reflecting, like, Cortex and Engine when... I'm pretty sure the whole idea was that it looked like that because... I always kind of took it as when Cortex sent his uh, minions to go back through time... They messed with history while they were get, trying to get the crystals. Woo! <sighs> I, th I still think it's cool fake crash exists in this game. Like, like he has, he exists. He has a canon reason for existing. Oh. The Cortex Sphinx. Oh, they even have the mummy that's a little two-part attack. The guy who sends the sliding block. Oh, man. When you kill him, you can't. They ha they don't keep the little switch. They keep making go bump, bump, bump. Let's 
So close. Now that now that we know how weird the game can get, we can also make sure to save. Runaway rug. It's not the same area. This is the daytime map. The other one was the nighttime map. There is one thing that's kind of weird about this copy I got for, uh... Crash in Trance is that for some reason it has blue paint on it. It's not my paint. I'm a painter. Okay, we completely avoided... The Scorpion. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> How unexpected! Oh, I lost my uka uka. Aku Aku. Oh, but I got another one. Here I go. It's not the best definition, but that's a good way to describe this. This is more fun. Like, the very talented people at Vicarious Visions were able to I think it's a baboon. It's some kind of monkey that holds the that holds all the pots. And if you're not careful, he'll drop a pot on you and kill you. Oh, excuse me. At least that one sultan-looking dude who cuts your pants off isn't here. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot that that happens. That is a sentence I just said. Not sultan, but like. There's literally some dude with a sword who paces back and forth and warped. And if he gets you, he will use his sword and cut your pants off. And then Crash will be like, oh no, I'm, you can see my Crash Boxers, limited edition, available only in Australia. And then he'll just leave like, oh no... At the same time, my logic is, dude, you're an animal. Oh, and the little bonus platforms actually send you back. Nice. This has all been cool. No, I missed the box. Ooh. <laughs> oh, whoops. I was still having fun. 
But now I know. Magic carpet. We have the ability to shoot magic mind energy. That we can defeat other sorcerers with. Okay, and be very careful flying this magic carpet. Makes me think of the magic carpets in Kingdom Hearts. Now we get claimed for the music, but you know what? Uh, I'll try it. If this live stream can get 100 likes, not either, not even during, like after, because these always do better after they've been uploaded. After we complete Entranced, we'll play Kingdom Hearts, because I like that game. I only actually beat that game for the first time a few years ago. But I'm not dumb. I'm not going to try to fight Sephiroth. That's just insane. Pew, 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 pew. Cup how? But I'm serious. 100 likes. Next, our next game we'll do the weekly live streams for will be Kingdom Hearts. Whew. The green crate. Ah, still short. Evil crunch. Sounds like a cereal Mega Mind would eat. Oh, we actually have the magic carpet. Oh, we got him. I remember Cat Icarus mentioned this in his video, where basically, we just stay down here, he can't get us. Oh, and they turned his robot hand into a gun. I like that the nitro affects him too, since... Oh, man. Brainwashed again. Thanks for saving me, Crash. I am going to keep this leather outfit, though. It looks sweet. Good news, Crash. The crystals you've collected are allow have allowed me to open up a new area of the island so we can get to new worlds from there. Sewer, super slide. Hold L, push to break crates. I like it asks us to save every single time. That is cool. Tiki torture. Was that a caveman, or was that like an ape escape character? Oh, cool! I know that music. That's from the dinosaur stages. I hope they weren't able to program in getting chased by a triceratops. I guess that's a chimp. Because when we, when we knocked it away, it made a chimp noise. Eat all the fruit, Crash. Do 
Here we go again. And everybody wish me luck tomorrow. While I'm still suspended from work, uh, we have been looking into some... We have been looking into a potential um, case for that. I did have to get a thing with DoorDash, so... I'm probably going to be out all day tomorrow doing DoorDash orders. Here we are at the bonus. Wait, how do you do the super slide? Oh, I see. That increases our chances of things going wrong exponentially. Oh boy! Got it. Is this just a lava proof wheel? a chimp with a big banana. He's proud of that thing. Lava! Oh! It came back for me. That's a problem. I stay in the same place. We don't have to worry about that guy. He only throws the spears in one direction. Oh! Okay, I think I got it now. Not this time. Hoppin' Coffins. Barrel Roll. I'm not gonna make the joke, it's too easy. Okay, we don't need the super slide. I just need to do my timing better. Oh, 
Oh, we can't swat that one away this time. We actually got to time it. Ooh. Didn't know that. We have to wait for the door to fully open. Where are these alligators even coming from? I mean, because in the Egyptian levels in, you know, Warped, they were like, you know, they were pits inside the sarco inside the pyramids. Nothing but skill! Gotta try that one again. I always think it's crazy how there was literally a streamer whose name is just sounds like Queso. All I know is that he apparently looks like a one-by-one -one Lego piece. Oh, and uh, apparently he destroyed the Earth. Okay. Wow, that was lucky. Oh, I felt my heart in my chest there. Ah, oh, darn. Okay, here we go. Ah, one of the bad ones. Like the... Oh yeah. I was also able to... I also got something I've wanted for a while. Because it was at a... Goodwill. I got one of those tortilla fleece blankets. You know, it's a round blanket, but it's got decals, so it looks like a tortilla. I guess I just collect these blankets now.
It's like how for Christmas, uh, a friend of mine, only under Rainbow, actually got me this. Because I really like the cartoon Bluey. If anybody has seen the sign, do not spoil it for me. Please. But... She actually got this bluey throw blanket. It's cute. It's got a nice design on it, but it's really small. <laughs> but it's small, like, compared to me. Like, on me, it looks small. Oh. I'm not sure how we do that one. It's even better as it's also uh, it's also based on one of the show's best at one of my favorite episodes, Sleepy Time. The one that could basically be marketed as a short film, like at an in, like if there was like an international film festival. Because if you've never watched Sleepy Time, I recommend it. It's it's really good. It's adorable. It's adorable, it's funny. I'm Team Winton, now and forever. Like that little bulldog. Now you gotta respect him. I also like Buddy the Pug. We'll have to try that some other time. Woo! Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ain't that always how it is. Ah, timed it wrong. I can only imagine what it'd be like if somebody goes back to the stream archives and sees our nightmarish 3D avatar we used to have for the puppet. Ah, oh. That's mean, man. Flock, flock full of seagulls. Do a barrel roll. Now it's your turn to see the atmosphere crunch, but be careful, entropy has added some new dangers. Oh, cool. So now we play as crunch. I still remember how Cortex hyped up Crunch in Wrath of Cortex. The idea that, oh, he was already really powerful, but we need the elementals to fully make him even stronger. It's 
It's like Dr. Cortex, you just cut off the dude's hand. And made him only work out his upper body and skip leg day. This is your ultimate weapon. He's just built like the one big buff koala dude. Whoa! Ugh. Aw, oh, he doesn't get a whoa? That's messed up. Because I'm pretty sure he's always been voiced by Kevin Michael Richardson whenever he had a vocal role. What's even better is it's one of Kevin's default voices. Like, it's the same voice he uses for Principal Lewis in American Dad. And... Oh, Mr. Ooh, Mr. Gus from Uncle Grandpa. He also uses that voice for him. And then they did the one, the, when they did the redesigns for R Crash of the, ow, oh, I'm just not meant to go over there, am I? For Crash of the Titans and Mind Over Mutant, where instead he's just doing a Mr. T impression. It's like, I still remember when uh, Did You Know Gaming did their whole thing on Crash, and it was like, apparently Dr. Cortex uses Rogaine, but only on the side of his heads. Side of his head, he only has one head. Maybe if he had two heads, he'd actually beat Crash Bandicoot. Dr. Entropy, brilliant scientist who's been able to travel through time and even hyperspace. What's his plan? Just put some rolling exploding barrels. That'll take care of it. Like, wait, um, didn't you used to have a tuning fork that could, like, shoot energy... Uh, yeah, I, I don't use it anymore. It did really make sense with the rest of my motif. Like, I'm the time guy. Well, what does a tuning fork have to do with time? What does an egg have to do with mind with hypnosis? I don't know. But thank goodness... And Trance was a unlockable character in Crash Nitro Kart, so somebody ripped his 3D models and put it on the Source Filmmaker Workshop so we could make our thumbnail. I ended up running out of time when my stream ended up being late last week on Saturday. There was actually supposed to be a video that played that was supposed to that was gonna lead into Entran to Doctor to Entranced. I bought both of these games. They were both there, why not? I also think it's kind of messed up that Crash was really greedy. It's like, I'm not going to give you like, like extra 30 lives. You get four.
Ah, darn. Part of what's throwing me off is that, you know, the first rolling stage, I was just going slow, but now we have, you know, with things like the barrels, it's a little harder. You crashed, you look a little too mellow, man. Or crunch, you look a little too mellow. 420's tomorrow. Got it. Ooh. Wonder what's down here. The real cookie gamer fifty eight plays said. Hi dude. Hello real cookie gamer fifty eight plays. Whoa. Ah. We are in the middle of Crash Bandicoot two and tranced. Whoa. And we're playing through a rolling ball stage as Crunch. Which uh is a little harder not just because of the rolling barrels but also but it's also because uh, oh whoa whoa whew. uh when you when you play as crunch in this part you don't get extra lives you get four lives so every death hurts and counts whoa okay here we go whoa Ugh. No! Oh. oh, I hate these barrels. Whoa, whoop, 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 whippity whoa. Whippity whoa. The real Cookie Gamer 58 plays. Said. Wait, what? Not sure what that was, too, but yeah. Basically, whoop. Uh -huh. Okay, 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 go, 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 go. That when you play as Crunch in these roller stages, you don't share the number of lives with Crash. You only get five. Even more messed up, because I'm 90% sure this stage is longer. The real Cookie Gamer 58 plays. Said. To having four lives. The real Cookie Gamer 58 plays. Said. Oh, 05. But it does make me wonder if this means when we uh, free Coco from the hypnotic stuff, if she'll have her own levels too. Because she had. She had levels in Warp, but she basically had whole levels in Wrath of Cortex where you played as her. I will say on the whole, this one is still a lot better than uh, Huge Adventure. I think Huge... Ad I said this before, but I think Huge Adventure, they were still kind of working with... Okay, how do we make a Crash game... And, you know, make it a 2D platformer instead. Whoa! And this... Alright. Whew. I got a crystal, which means we're almost done. Whoa. I just noticed, I mentioned before, 
I've mentioned that it literally just looks like they have the Model T posing and then they spun it around. Neither Crash nor Crunch are actually grabbing anything. The real Cookie Gamer 58 plays. Said. Have you played Anton Blast? Hmm, Anton Blast. Uh. I don't, I don't believe I have. I just looked it up. It reminds me of Pizza Tower. Is it kind of like that? Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, now the challenge is there's buoys we have to be careful of. While also trying not to get eaten by the sh- Oh, no, I guess I did only have four lives. All right. Uh-oh. wonder how scary those shark segments are for, like, a little kid if you got to actually play this on, like, the... I think the GameCube had a little thing where you could play Game Boy Advance games on your TV. I could definitely look into Anton Blast. The Real Cookie Gamer 58 plays. Said... Everyone says it's a clone of Pizza Tower. Hmm. Maybe the it's real Cookie Gamer 58 plays. Said. Also yet. Wow, he just Wow, the shark just said no to Uka Uka Aku Aku. That's uh wow. Oh. Okay. I like that the little music when he's trying to attack you is meant to sound like the Jaws theme. Da -na, da -na, da -na. But if people think it's a, if it's a clone of Pizza Tower, it might just be a case where two people had a very similar idea. That happens. I mean, I don't think it's like trying to say, oh, uh, two games that are kind of platformers and they have a very Saturday morning cartoon, 90s cartoon inspiration to them. You know, it's like, hey, two people get the same idea. I think I wouldn't be surprised if they collaborated. I actually do have Pizza Tower. I just have trouble with that one. Magma Mania. Ooh, I got right I got hit right by the magma. I'm dead. All right. I 
Here we go. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to go this way. Okay. Crawling's working better. Oh, I know why. So it used to be there was only one button to crawl, to duck, to crouch. Now there's two. And magic gem. I don't I don't even know what happened there. Here we go. Dive bombing birds. I just hope we don't get any of those lava bubbles. Oh. The real Cookie Gamer 58 plays. Said, "Hey, I make animations. Want me to make one of with you in it?" Oh, sure. Go ahead. I didn't know I did anything crazy enough to be animated. Cuz I actually do in addition to oh. In addition to these uh live streams, I also have videos I do with other puppet characters where I basically I play as multiple characters trying to play a game because all I have to do is I basically have a little shadow of them like like they're watching like they're watching a movie and then I just kind of have to remember to go back and forth like um, some of those get interesting because I have to kind of have arguments with myself makes me sound like Makes me sound like I'm crazy. Wee! Whoa. An animation would be awesome. The real Cookie Gamer 58 plays. Said. Okay, thanks, man ear puppet. Yeah, and you should actually see the puppet we were using before this. I was actually using a 3D avatar. You know, because I was trying to, like, have that VTuber look, but. This little puppet doesn't translate to CG that well. It was, uh, it scared small children. And adults. Everybody was scared. Okay, the dive bombing parakeets. I think we're still on zero lives. Okay. Whoop. Weep. Whoop. Oh, that's new. A box that, fr like, it froze the opponents. What's this? What the heck? Oh, we have a helicopter. Or a helicopter pack. Helipack. And they like flying. Whoop. Oh, it didn't go down. It just went up. Whoop.
Gemless again. Biggest improvement over Huge Adventure is after you complete every level, it prompts you to save. That is good. Okay, I'm... I'm not doing this right. <laughs> okay, I get it. It's like the Dingo Dial fight. Yeah, it's like the Dingo Dial fight in, uh... Huge adventure. Okay, heads up. We're gonna go back. What I'm doing will make a lot of sense. We're going back to the tutorial level to see if we can get some more Aku Akus. Because it looks like what they did is they gave Coco, like... It looks like they reworked the submarine from Wrath of Cortex. And made it into, like... A... Plane. Like a bomber plane. Oh, that's going to be really cool. Because I wonder if we're actually going to get to fight the fake crash. Uh, uh, you may have missed that part. In the beginning... Entropy tried to take over Crash, but Aku Aku was able to save him, and as a result, it created Fake Crash. Because he's usually just like a, a gag character, like based off of... Somebody from Naughty Dog was in Japan, and they had these... Oh. And they had these bootleg Crash Bandicoot plushes, and the one he was looking at had these... These hideous teeth and these big, bushy eyebrows. And they just put him in one of the other games. Like, Okay, I'm going to check and see if it's just because I was being dumb. And I don't want, want to make sure I wasn't... I, that, like, oh, it's because I keep accidentally doing that. Because that would be messed up if it was, like, a way to prevent you from, like, farming Aku Akus. The real Cookie Gamer 58 plays. Said. Hey, do you know Eastream? Ice, East, Ice Stream. Sorry, that might be a that might be a new name to me. Sometimes I'm not always up to date on what's big. Like I only just found out about Oni Plays last year, when they've been like doing this for five years and have like a thousand videos. Okay, good. It was just because I didn't know what I was doing. I did try to look it up. Uh, does he do? Does he do a lot of Minecraft stuff? Because I have, I actually have tried to do Minecraft streams before, but the problem is that I, I the like. Real Cookie oh. Gamer Fifty Eight plays. Said. Asterisk channel. Oh okay. Uh, 
I looked that up, and I, like I said, I think I saw like a Minecraft, a Minecraft channel. I have tried to do Minecraft streams, but I think the problem is a lot of people like survival, but I'm kind of an artist, so I like creative. But creative by yourself, it takes a long time to build stuff. Like, the hardest part is always staying focused. We've even tried to do some Roblox stuff before. I actually had a... Because I actually have an old Roblox account that I made back when... I think I was in middle school. And Roblox is fun. The sometimes the games really are like, oh, we're fun, but you want to be real fun. Have the money ready. Wow, we did all that for nothing. I think the problem I'm having is I'm not able to time the missiles. Oh, now I did. No, I did that one. I timed that wrong. I made it a point to not to try to be the quote-unquote angry streamer if I get hit or I die. As, yeah, it may be funny to watch somebody get angry while playing a game. But it's not so funny when it's you. Like, it changes the perspective, almost. Okay, that's two hits. The real cookie gamer Whoop. 58 plays said, Hey, when he'll finish your animation, he'll post on my channel. Okay. All right. Woohoo. Crash, thank you. How did you break out of Entrance's hypnosis? Something strange happened when you were being pulled into the vortex crash. Coco's. Coco saw someone in Trophy's secret base that looked like you. I'll try to find out who, while you collect, go collect more crystals. The rocket jump. That's gonna be cool. Up. One second. I. I gotta see. How this, I gotta see if there's a way I can subscribe to the channel. Now it's Istanbul. Oh, that's actually cool. Because that I think that name is meant to be a reference to a song by a group called... Oh, oh wow. Instead of cutting my pants off, he just kills me. Okay, that would be a cool song. But the actual song was called Istanbul, Not Constantinople. It's basic. It's a cover of a song that basically talks about how the country of Istanbul was once known as Constantinople, and that but now it's known as Istanbul. Even bringing up the fact that at one point uh, New York was called New Amsterdam, and then it was changed to New York. Uh, 
Why they change it, I can't say. People just liked it better that way. You should be able to find it on YouTube. They actually, there was an old cartoon called Tiny Toon Adventures where they basically did a whole animated music video based on it. Oh, I know what to do. I think it wants me to try to do the, oh, the rocket jump. <laughs> Crash, are you okay? What's wrong with his face? Like he goes, whir, whir. You gotta be careful now. As I did say earlier, if this, if this, if this gets a hundred likes, we will uh, after we finish Entranced, we'll see if we can try to do Kingdom Hearts. The real Cookie Gamer fifty eight plays said, "Do you know early morning humor?" This is another person I'm gonna have to look into. The real Cookie Gamer fifty eight plays said, "And I finished your animation." Whoa, that was quick. Oh. Sorry, we've been stuck with me trying to get this one box. I'll try on my own. I'll try on my own off time. Ooh. I think a better name for this level would have been, like, Show You the Ropes. Since we have to keep climbing on ropes. Like a pun. Whoa! Whoa! Well, we got saved from the ropes. The real Cookie Gamer 58 plays said I know Sometimes I think the text to speech freaks people out The real cookie gamer 58 plays said and I was a joke face with tears of joy <laughs> We've a I think we've actually gotten pretty far. Normally the way my streams work is unless we run into a technical issue or you know, it's we go a certain time and you know, viewership has been absolute zero. We usually try to go for at least 3 hours every week. Cause that way, that way it feels like we've made. That way it feels like we've made a lot of progress. May this be the end of these ropes. No more ropes, please. The real Cookie Gamer fifty eight plays said, "I didn't finish your animation, by the way." I know. I was. I was being silly as well. All right. The real Cookie Gamer 58 plays said, "It'll start on it no dough." All right, because I was, it won't let me actually click to check the channel. So, uh, to make sure that I'll make sure to subscribe, you may just have to um, comment on the video after the stream is done, or on like a short that comes out. Oh, 
We usually do weekly content, but right now I've been doing stuff a little more because <clears throat> I kind of move stuff to daily because I've been having to uh, produce more because at the moment I was uh, suspended from my job, which is, there's a lot of really weird stuff behind that. I really wish the Game Boy Crash games had the bazooka. Because it looks like I don't think we can actually attack that guy. We have to wait for the fire. I do believe the games we've beaten on this channel include Super Mario Odyssey and Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I can't remember all the stuff we've done live. The real Cookie Gamer 58 plays said almost 100 minutes will pass. Wow, we're slightly... Well, we are officially slightly longer than... We're officially 10 minutes longer than your average movie. Because I think, like, the minimum length for a movie is 90 minutes. Oh, we got the magic carpet again. Though I think there are movies shorter than 90 minutes that have gone to theaters. Is there are some movies, I don't know how people were able to watch them in, the in theaters. Like... Any movie that has like a three hour run time, I kind of have that like... Somebody sat in a movie theater for three hours to watch this movie. <laughs> Which meant that inevitably they'd have to use the, the bathroom. Cookie Gamer 58 plays. Oops, sorry. Said 100 minutes. All right. Happy new 100 minutes. Oh. I'm pretty sure these green guys are supposed to be genies. Or the gin. Oh, darn. As we do a lot of different stuff, I make puppets. And I'm not doing this. I tried to do a stream making puppets, but it's just such a long process. Especially since at the time I didn't own a sewing machine. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I can't check it. I can't see it. I gotta go back into its level. The next power crystal is located in space. Coco, you must use your spacesuit and rocket tug to retrieve it. Entropy has sent a huge fireball that will destroy the crystals. 
Crystal, if you do not move fast enough. The real cookie gamer 58 plays said, I think the AI chat thing is not really good way to read comments neutral face. I don't think it's actually AI. I think it's literally just a text to speech that I think it's literally just a text to speech. I right now I use it cuz it's free. Whoa. Oh, we can shoot stuff. So I'm a little confused what I'm doing right now. Bear with us. Uh-oh. Am I crazy or do the meteors look like chicken nuggets? This, it's a. I know it's a dumb thing to think of, but if Cortex is not involved at all, why are we still seeing his henchmen? Because the little lab assistant guys are his henchmen. Chicken nuggets flying through space. A really strong guy threw them too high. Now they float forever. The real cookie gamer 58 plays said, You know that Avatar movie is five hours, I think, is slow. Yes, they do look like chicken nuggets. Wow. Five hours? Mr. Lava Lava. <laughs> it's like Mr. Boombastic. Oh good, we can knock the bird back. Now, if only we could fling the fire... Oh, oh. Now, if only we could fling the lava away from us. That would be... Cool. So I know sometimes why I mess up. It's just because... I try to do things a little too fast. Uh, uh, oh, I can actually see the chat. The way chicken is spelled, it makes me think of Chicken Nugget, the little dog. I think so far the toughest levels are the lava ones and the rope ones. We will come back to the rope, but... Another collection... Another game I have is Zone of the Enders HD. Because it was on sale on the Marketplace. It's a giant robot game... It's a bizarre thing. I never thought I'd say giant robot games are hard to find. But they are. 
the real cookie gamer 58 plays said you know chicken nugget the little dog with big ears mm-hmm i remember actually back when they were just on tiktok before they migrated to youtube When they kind of slowly introduced everybody. Like... Uh, let's see. I think it's... Chicken Nugget, Cheese Burger, Slushy, Sodi Pop, Hot Sauce, French Fly, Ice Cream, Old P, Kofi... The clock guy, I forgot his name. Oh, wow. I didn't need to jump to that platform at all. Oh, I didn't need to jump to that platform at all. Whoops. Oh yeah, and I remember when they did the uh, oh, when they did the new DLC for Dragon Ball Super Hero, Super Super Hero. I actually played that. I actually played Xenoverse Two on stream. It's where I unlocked Beast. Oh, and I know it's it's been a month, but I still but it still needs to be said. Rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. I think I've actually got two copies of Blue Dragon that I've never played. I just realized I needed to duck and I forgot to duck. While, oh, by the way, on the main channel, while the weekly videos are usually done with my other puppets, I play videos, every, I play games every week on my friend Isaac's channel. I play weird horror games and just weird games from Itch.io. Sometimes we actually end up playing something that ends up blowing up later. Like, I played Andy's Apple Farm right before it went crazy. I've actually got... I have... I try to do a lot of different stuff. I've also been trying to work on a project that I actually have voice actors for is a uh, analog horror project. Well, it's kind of analog horror, but it's also like ARG... Because I really do like a lot of analog horror stuff, like uh, Local 58, The Walton Files. Winter of 83 is one of my favorites. Uh, the Winter of 83 and The Tangy Virus are both really good ones. Because those are basically full analog horror movies. Ooh, another one I remember. Another one that's really good is called. I actually got to see this in theaters. It was called Late Night with the Devil, where it was done up like an actual like lost episode of a '70s talk show, of like a late of a late night talk show from the '70s. Like it's. It's like half lost episode creepy pasta, half analog horror film. All really good, really scary, and really trippy. The real cookie gamer fifty-eight plays. Said. 
Do you know the man in the suit? That's the Godzilla one, right? The new Godzilla one? Because I know before that, there was like one called the Suitmation Trials. And that was the one that had the creepy Godzilla eyes that stared. And that one, I don't know where that went. But yeah, I, have, I have heard about the man in the suit. I actually, I actually did a analog horror thing for April Fool's Day last year called, I called it the Big Green Head Incident of 1987. Hmm. 1987. Why such a specific year? Uh, no reason. Not. Not because of any, not because of a certain horror franchise. Me and my friend Isaac have actually played, I think we've played all the FNAF games. Like, the only ones we haven't played, uh, He's actually played Help Wanted in VR. I've played the one that's on consoles. And he's actually played in Beat Security Breach. I have it, but I don't know if I can just stream it directly from my com from this computer cuz this computer is a this is a laptop. It is a beast. It's a gaming oh. It is a gaming laptop, so it's a beast, but sometimes it does get overwhelmed when like there's high graphics stuff because we actually tried to stream my friendly neighborhood and we ended up running into a ton of problems with that one <laughs> it's another one i've got to get real cookie Oop. gamer 58 plays said do you know the little troll face analog horror anime show is I know. Th oh, you mean the, the ones where he like? Gamer oops. 58 plays. Said. Animation on YouTube. You mean the ones where like he tells you to do horrible things as advice? That one. I think I know that one, but I also remember there was the uh there was a it wasn't analog hard it was just more like a creepy pasta series called Ascension, as I remember that one. Starting to think I'm not very coordinated. We. Up oh, and maybe dash when I didn't want to dash. Real Cookie Gamer 58 plays. Said. No, just Indian. The Real Cookie Gamer 58 plays. Said. Never mind. There's one I. Because I used. I actually have a bunch of save playlists of analog horror, but it's also like weird videos. Like, there was one that somebody found where somebody had like old animatronics. And they were still programmed to do their actual, like, animatronic show. And it was so creepy. Especially because a fun fact about real animatronics, like the Chuck E. Cheese ones. If you're right next to them, you'll hear the actual mechanisms kind of clap together for when they move. Like, like this. Like, every time they talk, you'll hear the metal plates that make their jaw move up and down, like that. You can hear all the mechanisms. Like, that would be creepier than if they made no noise at all.
All right. Oh. We got farther than we did before in the rope level. I know one thing I'm definitely excited for. I'm definitely excited that Sonic the Hedgehog 3, the movie, is coming out. And apparently Keanu Reeves is going to be Shadow the Hedgehog. The real cookie gamer 58 plays said, Do you know Peppino Spaghetti? Oh, yeah, that's the main guy from Pizza Tower. Little pizza dude who's constantly, constantly looks like he's either scared, panicked, or both. I think, oh, there's actually a Gary's Mod animation on my channel I made. A little story time. Um, I do voice work for people, so every now and then I go on Casting Call Club, and sometimes they're just weird projects I somehow end up getting work for. One of which was this Five Nights at Wario's spin-off kind of game, where... I was the only one to audition for most of the parts, so I ended up playing everybody. So I went, so I auditioned for Wario and Waluigi. The real Cookie Gamer 58 plays said, Blood was buffering. Uh oh. I'm double checking the actual live feed. I have my phone up, so I have it looked up there too. So far, it looks good because I can't trust the live control room because the live control room just has me pause in weird places. Okay. Ooh. If I had to say, the only real problem is I can't really see where I'm landing. But with old games like these, especially for like the 2D side stuff, I'm 90% sure it's muscle memory that helps you actually beat these. That's the only way I can beat Super Mario Land 2. Well, almost. I never actually beat Wario before. Oh, Wario, that's right. Uh, I... I, had to, I was in this Five Nights at Wario's game where I ended up voicing Wario, Waluigi, Mario and, Ma Mario and Luigi. And at one point, the guy gave me this old meme of like... It's somebody doing an impression of a wrestler named Stone Cold Steve Austin as Toad, basically recapping the events of, uh... Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario 64, as the guy that said, Hey, I need you to read all this as Wario, and I did. And the problem is the game shut down, and the actual video he used it in... It was on his Game Jolt page, and then that went down. So I had the same audio, so I just went in Gary's mod and I just had Wario say all this stuff. And at one point, I think I actually animated him jumping down from the rafters of a wrestling arena to body slam Pepino. Yeah, I'm not exactly crispy toast. Whoop. 
I'm just a guy who knows how to do a lot of different things because I messed around with it in the past. Oh! Sometimes the accuracy has to be pinpoint, pin perfect, for this to do what it's supposed to do. Okay. We did it! All right. Waterlogged. Let's do waterlogged and then we'll go back to Mr. Lava Lava. Oh, it's another shark level. Here we go, whoa! Whoa! Oh. I wasn't paying attention that time, wow! Big shark! The real cookie gamer 58 plays said it's not pizza time anymore it's cookie rush <laughs> why did i whistle into a microphone i remember when i've gotten the pizza times before those are some of the most stressful moments in the history of forever all right. That one ended up being easy. Or maybe it's because the last level was so hard. Because that's the thing I always notice. When you play a really hard level of a game and then you play an easy level, it feels... And then you play another level right after it, that level doesn't feel as hard. Hang on. Checking to make sure. I just heard a loud noise. Okay. Like, I just heard... I think it was just the door shutting. Uh-oh. They took my bird. Oh, the bird took my mask. Okay, see, I think that's the problem we're having, is that when we get to that part we try to duck down, which what we need to do, the game makes us slide. The Real Cookie Gamer 58 Plays said, Do you know Common Tastes from Linux? It's a fan-made pizza tower song. Right, I'll, I'll look into that one. Because I think the last one I saw for Pizza Tower was by the same people who did, like, the FNAF musical. I know it's old, but I, I think my favorite Pizza Tower meme is still the one where... They all just react to scary things. They literally just see the word boo. And Pepino starts screaming. The noise shows up. He starts screaming. The giant pepper shows up. He starts screaming. 
the cheese shows up. I'm sorry, I don't know all their names. Shows up. He starts screaming. Pizza Face shows up. He starts screaming. <laughs> oh, wow. We jumped right into the helicopter. That one messes with me, because everywhere else when the lava goes up, it goes back down. Whoa. Okay, another helicopter segment. Okay, that was scary. Still scary. Oh no. Uh oh. The real cookie gamer 58 plays said that's really old mim also it's peppermint the vigilante the cheese that is an amazing name is it is, I, I never got to the point where i could fight the vigilante i always get stuck on pepperman and to be fair i kind of thought he was an apple at first i didn't realize he was a bell pepper and oh Talk about our luck. It looks like uh, the Retron froze. Oh, wow! Oh, we didn't. We couldn't even reef. We couldn't even reset. I had to turn it off and back on. One second, it's starting back up. That is just mean. We make, we actually finally make progress in the level, and then the and then the device decides it just wants to crash on us. Leap. The real Cookie Gamer fifty eight plays said put common tastes on live pls uh whoop whoop all right one second sorry my chair is broken we had a wheel fall off Okay, one second. I Okay, one second. I'm going to I'm going to play Common Tastes. I just got to mute the I had to mute the actual game for a second. I hope it loads. Oh, that is good. Oh, hang on. The real Cookie Gamer 58 plays. Said. Yay.
right. Get a surprise for them. Just letting the music play because it sounds awesome. <laughs> wow, the whole thing played all the way through. It only started buffering at the end with the... Um, you know, just the credits part. I hope I remember to like that. I might put it into my work playlist. Okay, we're ready for anything they throw at us now. Except that. The real cookie gamer 58 plays said Pepper Jack Blues next PLS. All right. Wow. Luckily it was literally the second one of the search results. The real cookie gamer 58 plays said yay it's a nice change of pace thought about trying to do reaction streams
Oh no! That song was good, but that was beyond messed up! We actually got the invincibility mask made it all the way through, and then we, and then we f basically, I think the, we'd say we tripped on the end of the field goal. The real cookie gamer 58 plays. Said. Off brand feast next, it's the last song. Oh, one second. I'm checking. Oh, there it is. It was in the recommendations. Gonna say real quick, I do like how I make it look like a record player is playing. The real cookie gamer 58 plays. Said. Yay. Managed to do it again. It's about to get crazy. Okay, I made sure to like that one. Alright. That was nice. That was cool. Okay, a freeze box. Yes! <laughs> it took a little longer, but we did it!
Slip and Slide and Sphinx. This one must be all about those sliding puzzles. Oh, it's like Tomb Waiter, the level from Warped, where the whole place is trying to flood. The real Cookie Gamer 58 plays. Said. I'm sad that there are no more fan made Pisa Tower songs. Wonder why. I've actually tried to make music before. I have FL Studio. It's hard. Spikes. Floor spikes. That's one thing I wonder. I remember when it first came out, somebody actually did, uh, like, they made like a a song about Garden of Ban Ban out of spite. I wonder if anyone's done any actual songs about that, because I actually play the Ban Ban series on here. Every couple months we get to see what else is happening. The Real Cookie Gamer 58 plays. Said. Hey, I have a secret you want to know. Okay, uh, as long as it's not anything too crazy, these, we do archive these streams. Lost that one as soon as we got it. Ah! Fake crash. He does every oh he does everything I do except he kills me if he touches I touch him. So I have to get, oh, so I have to get him to hurt himself. The real Cookie Gamer 58 plays, said, 
Hey, I have a secret you want to know. Sure, go ahead. Okay. Oh. We're going to need to get equipped for this. Curious what the secret is now. The real cookie gamer fifty eight plays said, I'm making a the real cookie gamer fifty eight pizza tower mod. Whoa, like the like the whole sprite overhaul thing? Like, I've seen people do that, where they basically take all the sprites and change them out. I thought of trying to do that for it, but I just didn't have the time, because that's a lot of different poses. Actually, I for a while I was trying to make a mod of Friday Night Funkin' for my friend's channel. The problem is we just kind of ran out of inside jokes and meme and, and meme opponents for each of the people for each week of the game. I remember that game was everywhere for a while. Then they kickstarted it and then we never heard from it again. I think Pizza Tower might have been a Kickstarter game. The real Cookie Gamer 58 plays said, "It's in the works. How am I gonna make 5,000 Pepino sprites in a year, South?" That that is a good question. I know that the tool people use is apparently the same sprite modding tool that's used for Undertale. Okay, I didn't mean to do that.
Two hours and 33 minutes. I think that was almost the length of Avengers Endgame. The real cookie gamer 58 plays said for pepino i make cookie man and for noise because he s playable now he'll put ice cream and i already have a official design for fake pepino called fake cookie wonder what a fake cookie would would be It's like a boss fight, but it's also a puzzle. Oh wow, I can't even crouch near him. That was that was dumb. X The real cookie gamer 58 plays said Fake cookie is not chocolate chip, it's dry raisins. Oh, ugh, dry that's actually impressive. Raisins are already dried grapes. How do they get drier? I guess for some reason I was thinking of like the pro like protein cookies. Like the ones that look like cookies and they're supposed to be full of like healthy stuff for you, but like they don't feel right. Oh, I still have my Ultra Uka. Ultra Aku. I'm having the biggest trouble with this boss fight because it's more like a puzzle. Whoa! I didn't even mean to do that. I didn't even know there was another stage down there. I think he even takes one more hit. Got him! In trance, you blundering idiot! That was not Crash! It was some sort of fake Crash! How was I supposed to know? He fooled you too. Besides, they will never find our hideouts. Not in a million years!
Good job, Crash. With a few more crystals, I'll be able to open the vortex to Entropy's hideout. The tornado spin. We spin around real good. Salvador Dali. I hope you're able I do hope you're able to get that mod. Rocks can roll. Uh oh. Oh no. Now Crunch only has two lives. Rock the Cassup, the Cassaba. Return of the Ropes. Return of the Ropes. Return of the Fire. Oh, wait. I forgot. This is probably going to make me want to use that super spin more. Now we've got about 20 minutes left. We gotta try to beat one of these. And I'm pretty sure this music is actually all the way from Crash 1. The real cookie gamer 58 plays said you remind me of homer from the simpsons i have more hair though i wish i could do an impression of homer hang on uh don't merge there's a giant guy in a ball rolling around Actually, I did do a little Simpsons thing on my channel. It's one of the most recent things I did. It's called Lost Simpsons Bumper. I had a little too much fun with that one. Actually, weirdly enough, I've taken the actual puppet of this to conventions. 
and somebody thought it was Bart Simpson, and I think somebody else thought it was Bert from the real Sesame Street. Gamer 58 plays said, I don't care about your hair. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The real cookie gamer 58 plays said, Hi, Yapper, how are you in Yapping Town? <laughs> I'm... I'm not sure where that's from, but that is amazing. Oh. <laughs> the other, you know the creator of Phineas, you know like the co-creator of Phineas and Ferb is just on YouTube and TikTok? It's just weird to me. Whoa, that was too close. Way too close. Pretty sure this would be the path of most resistance. Okay, good. The barrels only go one way. I prefer that. Wait, I think it can actually do it. Woohoo! Back and forth barrels, we meet again. Slow and steady wins the race. I gotta see if I can find that video where a dude tried to use a 3D printer, but instead of the resin, he filled it with cheese. Because he was trying to see if it would print something out of the melted cheese. The Real Cookie Gamer 58 plays said, I'm Doys from the Noise Update, I'm always dead. So he's the dead noise, so he's called the Doys? I do know he was based on an actual um, pizza mascot called the Noid. Which was, his whole thing was literally, it was this little bunny-eared dude who would ruin your pizzas. Eruption Disruption.
Return of the lava levels. Okay, I just had a really dumb thought. Oh, apparently the actual Noid character, it was from Domino's Pizza, was retired because some guy whose last name actually was Noid was convinced that the commercials were making fun of him. So he proceeded to... The end result is this man held a... Held up a dom... Held two people in a Domino's hostage. And demanded a free pizza. Like... The Real Cookie Gamer 58 plays. Said... Noid is based on the word an N-O-I-D and noise is based on the word an N-O-I-S-E. Huh. Oh. I actually never thought of the original reason for that. The real Cookie Gamer 58 plays. Said. Also, what you said is true. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm, sometimes I'm not sure if everybody knows about that. But there have been a couple of YouTubers who've covered it before. It's like... It's like, I can't believe Noid was a real last name, but the I've actually... Cookie Gamer 58 plays. Said. He did cause a robbery. Oh. I was. Oh. I was the saying. The real oh. Cookie Gamer 58 plays. Said. After all. I was saying that there was a point when I would find it kind of weird that somebody would name someone Noid. But. Uh, I used to work at a call center. And. There are names that you would never believe are real last names. There are there there are really people out there whose last name is literally but B U T T. I bet if you look hard enough, you'll even find people who actually have the same last name as that one teacher from the Side Night and Happiness short. The guy who is just paranoid that everybody's going to make fun of his name, so he just keeps assuming everyone's going to make fun of him. But they're all, like, super respectful. It's like, DETENTION! EXPULSION! And I think for the very last person, he says... Substitute teachers can't expel people. Prison! <laughs> uh, I love Cyanide and Happiness. I actually had a copy of Joking Hazard signed by one of the guys who made it. Who made the comics. Whoa! Uh, we got the crystal.
I hope there's another boss after Entranced. Oh. Hello. The real Cookie Gamer <laughs> 58 plays. Said. <laughs> I knew exactly what would happen, <laughs> but it's funny. Wait, hang on. Wait, that was fun. Rebel Taxi! That's who I, I remember hearing it from now. It was a guy who talks about cartoons on YouTube. Wants me to do the super slide. <laughs> oh, there's a grate there. Okay, back on the grate. Kaboom! Move too soon. Okay, here we go. Kaboom! All right. Oh, man.
Right, you can hit the guys who throw stuff at you through the windows. It's just really hard. Don't stop firing! This is war! Oh man. Ah, uh, okay. Twenty. Well. Maybe 30 seconds left. But I'm actually starting to get tired. Wow. Well, it just means that next week we can finish the game. I want to thank the Real Cookie Gamer 58 plays for staying for staying around for staying around for the for, for the majority of the stream i do hope everyone else if you're watching this archived i hope you enjoyed it and i do hope i do hope everyone can have a good rest of your night everybody have a good day wacky nation 2200 strong and growing I've also got to stop because uh, I did not eat before we started this, so I am also really hungry. Good night, everybody.